Kathy and I are some of the most awkward people. Yeah, that's true. You will ever meet. And yep. we're trying to film a video. Oh, do you want to tell them the video? Yeah, we're gonna ask each other juicy questions that we've never asked each other before. Which is luck. Yeah. And it's gonna be rough. What's up, party people? What's up, party people? We're gonna ask each other juicy questions that we've never asked each other before. Juicy questions we've never asked each other before. Do I start? You start. Have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? Mm, no, because I'm the best kisser. I'm a good kisser. But I have told other guys that I've dated that they need to go practice because they That's just weren't rude. Yeah. they weren't as good. No. And I feel like if you need something, you should, you know, say, hey, I need you to practice. Get your needs fulfills, ladies. Oh, needs me. fulfills? <laughs> needs fulfills. <laughs> I've practiced kissing in a mirror before. Were you a good kisser? I think I'm the best I've ever had, actually. <laughs> Do you not think I'm a good kisser? <laughs> no, I think you're a great kisser, baby. Yeah. Uh, next question then. Have you ever thought about a different girl while kissing me? Or has any other girl that you've kissed been better than me? No, absolutely not. I've picked up new techniques and stuff from other girls. But usually those were like pretty short flings and stuff like that. And so I feel like being in a longer relationship, we like know what each other likes when we're kissing. Stuff like that. So I'd say you're definitely the best kisser. I think you're a good kisser too. What's the first thing you would do if you woke up as the opposite sex? Go pee. Go to the bathroom. Go pee. Standing up. Learn how to use the little, you know. <laughs> the, You've never peed the, standing up? But I want to use the ding a -ling You want to aim somewhere. It's and like a, just like let it go yeah, wherever. It's yeah. like a game. That's true. You've never got to do the thing as guys. If you like want to be <laughs> quiet in the, like, the bathroom, you can aim at the side of the toilet. Be loud. It's like in the center. The you can't techniques. do that as a girl. Yeah. There's there a go. technique to it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. If we were to break up, what would the reason be? You would cheat on me with Zac Efron is why we would break up. Oh, yes. I can't even blame you at that point. I mean, like, we would break up, but it's only just to let you be free, you know, and live your life. Zac is hot, but Zac doesn't have your personality. And yeah. you have a good personality. Sir. I would never cheat. I know you're faithful, so am I. Yeah. Would you trade your sibling in for a million dollars? Never. No. Honestly, I don't think a million dollars is enough to pay any person. Like, I don't think anybody's worth a million dollars. They're worth more. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. No, it's like yeah. everyone is one of a kind. They're themselves. They're unique. There's nobody like a, you, you know, a person. Like, everyone is unique. I mean, unless you're identical to it. I think the issue is that you have only one sibling. I've got three. So, Heather, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Imagine you're your life with then and instead just having a jet ski that's like you have right. better be memories like, with a person <laughs> than you do with a jet ski that's true i can't play cards against humanity with the jet ski if you could change one thing about me what would you change i would change it so that you lived closer to me i think you should change that and you should live closer to me oh really mm -hmm. someone offered you a million dollars to break up with your boyfriend would you do it let's not even say it's me <laughs> Right. Let's just pretend you're in a relationship with like a good guy, you know, like someone that you like. But someone was like, I'll give you a million dollars to break up with that person. Would you break their heart? Was I, am I happy? Yeah, you're pretty happy. I actually want to yeah. cry thinking about that. Aww. Like I could yeah, never no. see you. Yeah, I, don't, I guess. Yeah. Remember, it's not me. It's some arbitrary boyfriend. Yeah. But if I really love them and then never seeing them again? You'd be wiping your tears with $100 bills, baby. <laughs> Do you think I look better with or without makeup? I think you look great all the time, baby. Yeah. Is there any other answer, you know, than that? I think that, like, there's some, like, skin tone evenness that comes with makeup, I guess, which is, like, nice. But I also wouldn't want to wake up next to you on a Saturday morning and, like, you still to be kind of like makeup and stuff like that. And yeah, all that. that wouldn't really like feel necessary and stuff like that, or it'd feel like almost out of place. Okay, you're in a public restroom and you just finished going number two, <laughs> but you find out there's no toilet paper in the stall. What oh, do you do? phone a friend, boop, 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 boop. or if someone's in there, go hey friend. Like the stall next to you. If someone's in there. Oh, okay. Or I would use the things that you put on the toilet seat. Mm, if those, that's a good idea. If those are in there, you can use them as blotting paper or you can... Blotting paper? You, okay. you have yeah, to pick good. up oil uh, or uh. you can use it to clean your bum. <laughs> or if I'm in the wilderness, I can go grab a leaf 
I've done that before. No. Yeah, was, yeah I'll leave. I'm not going to get into that here, but yeah. <laughs> no. so if we knew each other in high school or like previously in middle school, high school, do you think we would have liked each other? And do you think we would have dated back then? I think dated? Absolutely not. I don't think so. I think mm -hmm. we probably would have still liked each other and like got along. But I was in band in high school and that's where like most of the dating and that kind of stuff happens. You know, it's just the people you spend time with the most. You said you like to uh, pick out the, uh, the the quiet guys at school and stuff like that. I liked in high school. I'd go for like the mysterious guys. Yeah, you know, that like was the me in high school. that was you. Yeah, like the guys that like I never went for. Like so that's the mysterious bandy. <laughs> yeah, I was. Hey. Yeah, no, I believe it. But I would go for the new people that would was like new to the school, and I would want to know all about them. Or like the more quiet people is kind of. The type I would go for, so I maybe I'd go for you then. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Would you rather be caught picking your nose or picking a wedgie? While you're doing that, I was picking my ear and I was like, uh, oh, I should <laughs> stop because this is gross. Okay, wait, would I, in picking, public? Pick, which yeah, one would I? Yeah, just like um, uh, your boss or something. Pick, like picking your nose or picking a wedgie? Picking a wedgie. You'd be more comfortable with that? I don't know. I thought I'd do both. Yeah. Shamelessly. <laughs> you do both shamelessly. Well, there was one time I was... in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> there was one time I was at a grocery store and I was wearing a swimsuit that you tie, you know? Mm -hmm. And the ties came loose. So literally my bottoms fell on the floor at a grocery store. And I feel like that's worse than picking a wedgie. Uh, like you, that's all you were wearing? No, I wore a dress. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. I, I've gone through more embarrassing things. Everyone picks their nose and everyone picks their wedgie. Sure. I'd rather yeah. not be uncomfortable and just do it. And don't be ashamed of picking your wedgie. If you had to rename me, what name would you choose? Um, uh, Galactus the Destroyer. The Destroyer. That's just badass. Galactus? Can you imagine what I'm telling people? Like, I'm, I'm dating you could Galactus call, You could destroyer. call me Galley. Galley? Yeah, that's cute. Galley. All right. I did all my questions. I think, okay. Wait, did I, I do all my questions? I got one more. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Last question. We're going to spill the tea. All right. What in your web browser history would you be embarrassed if people found out about? <gasps> oh, Casey. <easy>. That's <laughs> awkward. That's personal. Oh, well, you got to say. Oh, my gosh. People. Well, this morning I looked up, I guess not that juicy, if when you screenshot on Instagram, if people know that you, you're screenshotting wow. their stuff. Yeah, I know Snapchat did that, right? Snapchat. Or, mm -hmm. But it, I looked up that this morning. Mm -hmm. What'd you find? It doesn't. Instagram, it doesn't? no. Like if you're lo looking through people's stories. It saves my ass in a lot of times, you know, in the past. <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> and you like screenshot, you screenshot oh, yeah, stories? No. no I you're not like, on Instagram. Yeah, I don't really use it. But yeah. if you screenshot on Instagram, um, like a story, they, it doesn't show. There you so. go, ladies and gentlemen. Make use of that information. Yep. The amount of times that I look up like the area of a circle and stuff like that is honestly embarrassing. Like, yep, I'm like, is it two pi r squared? Isn't it 3.75? That's pi, but it's 3.14. It's close. All right, well, we're going to go look this up. And <laughs> we'll get back to you. And Once if you, know. you liked watching us do juicy questions and you want to send us a juicy question send us a question down below and that's it look how cute you are hey. bye